Hello there guys, it's me Wisely and welcome to a new episode of Heretic Guides Max Bin together with my Magus. And yes, this is the last build for my Magus. So, after this, we're going, uh, after this uh, build, we're going to have the last build. So, this is the second to the last build. Anyways, let's get started with a new build for Magus, uh, Pure Offense Magus. You already know this build, but this time it's different so last time we have some single set for uh for uh pure offense magus now this time we have uh we have uh set a versus set b pure offense magus so this time we have uh uh, Dr. Magus so this is the set A Dr. Magus uh, we have uh, of course uh, Dr. Magus because of Dr. Foss set so we have strength 145 vitality 162 dexterity 62 and spirituality 162 we have uh, 6 139 armor or defense rather uh, 1219 HP 85% fire resistance 83% ice resistance 81% lightning resistance and 85% poison recovery so we have on uh, class attack attributes we have 9.19 we have 919 force per second that has 2.08 attacks per second attack rating 1222 force per hit 442 critical chance 5% critical damage 100% stun chance 0% knockback chance 0% miscellaneous attributes we have 4.82 walk speed 67 life regeneration per second hit recovery 0.6 Second, reduce cooldown 50%, identify cooldown 60 seconds, uh, trader price reduction 0%, magic find 167%, uh, gold find 60%, damage reflection on melee 0%, damage reflection on range 0%, uh, damage reduction on melee 5%, Damage reduction on range 5%, defense reduction on melee 0%, defense reduction on range 0%, attack rating reduction on melee 21%, attack rating reduction on range 21%. So we have our set here, our equipment for uh, Dr. Magus equipment. We have uh, Ignir Shell Study. Use Libare, Kite Shield with a Rune Ward Disguise, uh, Rollius Lawgiver, and Drop Nears. So this time we have the different. So we have here, we have uh, Doctor Foss Set. So we have Kittel, Brim, Humor, and Souls. A complete set for Dr. Dr. Foss equipment. So we have also stable with uh, 32, I mean uh, 36 rather, 36% faster cooldown or cooldown reduction. We have also uh, 60 life regeneration per second. And we have kite shield or yeah, they, they, they just uh, told you and we have a kite shield with the rune word disguise because Set B will now be different. So we have also our skill builds. So this time, uh, it's still the same but different points. Still the same as set B but different points. Let me know you guys. Just remember that guys. So we have Frost Orb 15 to 30 and it's booster. Ice Fall 14 over 24. Secondary skill. 
chain lightning 15 over 30 and its booster dimensioning 14 over 24 we have blizzard 30 over 30 we have also fireball 24 over 24 and its booster hot plate 14 over 18 we have also secondary booster eruption 24 over 24 and last but not the least we have cadaverine 24 over 24 so this time we have also passives such as a uh, fire mastery 18 over 18 ice mastery 18 over 18 and lightning mastery 18 over 18 and of course glass cannon 15 over 24 so that's it we have set a doctor magus set for pure offense magus so we're mo now move on to set another set set b uh, armored magus so here we go So last time we have Doctor Doctor Magus set for uh, for pure offense Magus. Now we're now move on to this build uh, armored Magus. So we have uh, strength one fifty, dexterity seventy two, vitality one twenty two, and spirituality one forty two. We have one thousand nine hundred four defense, one thousand two hundred sixteen HP. 85% fire resistance, it's 75% ice resistance, 75% lightning resistance, and 75% poison recovery. So, on cast attack attributes, we have 948 force per second uh, that has a 2.19 attacks per second, attack rating 527, force per hit uh, 434, critical chance. 5% critical damage 100% crit stun chance 0% knockback chance 0% so on miscellaneous attributes we have 3.86 walk speed 60 life regeneration per second hit recovery 0 0.6 second reduce cooldown 50% identify cooldown 60 seconds trigger price reduction 0% magic find 156% gold find 60% on the target both million range we have uh, okay melee damage reflection 0% range damage reflection 0% melee da damage reduction 5% melee damage reduction uh, I mean uh, range damage reduction 5% melee defense reduction 0% Range defense reduction 0% attack uh, for melee attack rating reduction 35% Ra range attack rating reduction 35% so we have our equipment but this time some of them are a little bit the same uh, just like a mere shell a scadi just libare drop nears and Kyle Chill with a runeward disguise. So this time we have a different build. So here we go with a, our deep build which is armored because of Presidium that has a, 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 la, a lot of uh, defense as you can see. So we have also Durin's Ban, Skimil. Tasilo Chalice uh, and State Bow with 54, 54 faster cooldown or cooldown reduction and 45 life regeneration per second. So, yeah, we have uh, an armored Magus. So, let's now move on to skill build. It's the same as I remember to you guys that. It's the skill build are still the same but different points we have frost orb 18 over 30 and its booster ice fall 24 over 24 we have also chain lightning secondary 
uh, build uh, secondary skill 18 over 30 and its booster dimensioning 24 over 24 we have also blizzard 30 over 30 fireball 24 over 24 and its booster hot plate 17 over 18 and secondary booster eruption 24 over 24 we have also Cadaverine, last but not the least, Cadaverine, 24 over 24. We have also passives as well, such as a Farm Mastery, Ice Mastery, and Lightning Mastery. That's it. We don't have a Gas Cannon. So, that's it. We have a set B, Armored, uh, Armored Magus 4, or Pure Offense Magus build. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Heritage the Gods, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So, make sure to subscribe, ideas, and suggestions. Let me know in the comments. And we'll see you guys on the next video. And have a good day.